Welcome back to Let's Play AWE, the DLC chapter for Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I don't see Hartman, but that's okay, because I'm standing in the light. Looked it up in between episodes. The Fromoro Formation, also known as the Fromoro Highlands, is a formation on the near side of Earth's moon that served as the landing site for the American Apollo 14 mission in 1971. It is named after the 80 kilometer diameter crater, Fromoro, located within it. There you are. Uh, the formation. I'm just gonna duck back here in case he can shoot into the light. The formation, as well as the Fromaro Crater, take their names from a 15th century Italian monk and mapmaker of the same name. Apollo 13 was originally scheduled to land in the Fromaro Highlands, was unable due to an in-flight technical failure. It's a very clinical way of describing what happened to uh, Apollo 13, and not as one of the biggest technical fuck-ups in the history of flight. Oh! <laughs> Deal with it! Oh. Faster than that! Oh, fuck! I mean, that looks really important, but I don't know where it goes, so I'm just gonna go over here for a moment. Oh... Yeah, drop down into the light. Don't hover just... Oh, fuck. Oh, I really didn't like that visual effect, where it was two of him for a moment there. Oh! It just said Hartman was a monster, really, really enthusiastically. So I wasn't meant to do that. Okay. Did I already ask that question? I wonder if the, uh... If the presence of baby, 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 yeah in the Hiss's incantation is meant to suggest that Justin Bieber is one of the Hiss. Where actually is it? Ah, yes, good. Don't know where- oh! I'm going, but he didn't like that, so hey. That one actually startled me, well done. You know, I was really, really hoping there would be a generator over here. What do we got here? Button for that way, button for that way. Oh, that seems very economical. Uh, Right. I'll just keep going, I guess. Um... Hey, that's bad. I didn't realize it was going to go over there. No! And we're running. That was a really, really bad animation right there, wasn't it? Ah! Move so slowly when I'm carrying this thing. Oh, and he can hand shoot into the light. Okay, that's really good to know. I don't know why he wasn't. Maybe he was shy. Ah, good water. Hmm.
me find a thing real quick. Ah, yes, Elthwar echoed a thought I had after encountering those skeletons a while back. And I suddenly realized that the blood wasn't on the ground because of a technical failing by Remedy. I realized that the blood was on the ground because... However the darkness killed them, it just... Instantly rotted their bodies to bone. Like, it just took everything that wasn't bone, and it just left all the blood behind. That's why the pools were so big. Let's try this again. says most of the time. You know your ribs aren't supposed to go in that direction, right? I'm just saying, everyone's thinking it. So first it goes up. Like this, and uh, right over that guy we don't like. Oh, hell. This is not ideal. All right, we'll just keep going. Maybe we'll learn where the thing is. That's really important too, right? No, this isn't where we started. Oh boy. Well, there's that. No, I don't want that. But I can do that. Oh, God, give me strength. Run! Fuck! He got in the way! You shit piece, I'm in here now. You can't consciously reach out when I'm in here, can you? You can't make yourself shoot a projectile in this direction. I don't know why that is, but I appreciate that. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. You know, for pure darkness, a tree emits a lot of light as it dies. You know, I can look for more lore later. Oh no. Right. Oh, fuck, over there. In that case... No, 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 sorry. Got ahead of myself there. Oh, get in the light! This is non-ideal. Where does he position himself that he's always able to get me? Well, I guess we want to go that way. Ah! Did that thing in the wrong order. Should have levitated, uh... Then grabbed it. I don't know. My lozenge wrapper says, March forward! Alright, get me to that control panel. Oh, good, the block is there. Uh, is not there. 
So the opposite of what I wanted to say. I do that sometimes. I remember reading once that, uh, well, something that taught me that that flag over there has to be a model, which is that there's no atmosphere on the moon at all, so uh, there's absolutely nothing uh, filtering out solar radiation like there is on this planet. And because there's nothing filtering out the solar radiation, that means within a, you know, a few years at most of uh, that fla American flag being planted on the moon, it was bleached pure white. I find that very interesting. Although I do wonder what message that sends. I can do this. What the hell? Shit! What in the hell was that? I clicked in the stick to do the stomp attack and get over here really quickly, and she thrust her arm forward and did nothing? Oh wow, it's just resetting the position completely. Oh. Great. I should just stand here until I recover enough to not, you know, have crap obscuring my vision at the very least. It does take forever, as I recall. Yeah, that seems about the right one. Be gone with you! There. One less place for him to hide. What? Gerbil took the top head. Well, this is going to be about that alien, isn't it? Just somewhere in this room, I guess. Noted. Are you sure I'm allowed to use the ground slam? Because, uh... Oh, I don't need that. I was totally expecting to finish this and then find that the alien was hiding inside of the lunar lander. Because that's where he's comfortable. <sighs> I have a feeling one of my friends is messing with me. We shall see. I didn't realize these things were so big in person, but I suppose they were meant to fit three dudes, so...
I don't know, they didn't go crazy cooped up in this tiny thing in order to breathe. Well, and not die of explosive decompression, but you know, breathing is faster to say. Breathe buttons don't do anything anymore. Sure! Oh, come on, how can you do a section with moon rocks and not do, uh, footprints? Oh! That cell. Ah! Holding cell. For security keeps closed. Yes, hello? Yes, me? Worry who? See the seat. That made more sense than I was expecting. Hello? Hello! Great about us today. Long roads and no hardly. You are bygone? Uh... Sure. Why are you locked up in here? Ah, uh, casual turning. Back in front. And <laughs> Gerbil took the top head. Not being pressed for that. Lady going and loosing back for I? Sorry, I... I think I'm misunderstanding you. What do you want? The head. The head for tales. For reading news, jars, words, and tumble. The His head is literally okay. missing, isn't it? Okay, take it easy. I'll... Uh... How's he talking? I don't want to know. Let's just find out. So <sighs> maybe it wants something to read. Or a jar. Let's oh. just see what we can find. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, God damn it. There was one of those uh, mobile labs that I didn't go into. Was, uh, was it this one? Yes, over this far end of the room. Aha! From Morrow Supplement. AWE 7 from Morrow. The Apollo 14 entity, commonly known as Fra, underwent a series of physical examinations upon its admittance into the oldest house. The entity can speak, though its poor grasp of the English language makes any meaningful communication impossible. Interview material can be found at Redacted. Its physical form consists solely of the extravehicular mobility unit, EMU, spacesuit used by NASA scientists, the same model worn by the other crew. This could be an authentic uh, EMU taken from one of the NASA astronauts, though the suit does not bear any wearer's name, or one materialized through redacted conversion or possibly redacted corporealization. The suit itself is slightly damaged, which is likely due to the fact that the command module did not have a fourth seat for the entity to strap into during re-entry. The EMU is entirely hollow, and pieces can be removed, though this seems to agitate the entity. X-rays and spectrograph and imaging have shown redacted-shaped outlines existing within the suit. For safety reasons, the entity will be contained in a secure cell until more information can be gathered. Interesting. Jam Slam Mega Hoop. I think I had one of those when I was a kid. It's my birthday, please take some. Well, I guess it would just go bad if I didn't. Wait a minute, who predicted cheese? <laughs> I guess someone got cheese on their uh, bureau bingo card, huh? This could be what it wants. Let's give it a shot. No, it's literally going to be the suit's helmet. Wait, where was the cell? Oh, wrong side. Do 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 do. No, no, jars. A head. Scotch and peppers. Head. Okay, that wasn't right. Was that Langston's voice? I couldn't be just copying Langston. He wasn't working here in the seventies. Ooh, that's really dark. I hope all this stuff with the third thing isn't waking the dark presence back up. It's, uh... mostly unconscious, I think as where, you know, given where it's sealed. But, uh... Every so often, someone creative enough to wake it up comes along. And it begins manipulating people. 
Happened to uh, Tom the Poet. It happened to uh, Alan, of course. And it happened to the Anderson brothers, Tor and Odin. It is Tor, not Thor. I don't know why. Look how smooth that is. The surface of the roof, I mean. It can't be that easy. <laughs> oh, God. We're going to find out what Framaro wants in, uh... In uh, the next episode of Let's Play AWE, the DLC chapter for Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you then. Stay in the light. <laughs>